Tennis star Naomi Osaka will launch her own sports agency, Evolve, as she moves on from IMG, the company that was her former representation. According to the 27-year-old, she wants to move on to the next step as an athlete and as a businesswoman. Let's see what's in store for Osaka next. First up, Naomi Osaka has left IMG and started her own sports agency. Naomi Osaka has sent shockwaves through the tennis world by announcing that she has penned the latest chapter in her trailblazing career by ending her relationship with management company IMG to launch Evolve, her own sports agency, alongside longtime agent David Dugwood, who she worked with for seven years. The two will be equity stakeholders in Evolve. The 24-year-old's contract with her former agency, IMG, expired at the end of last year, and talks of renewing the deal were unsuccessful. It absolutely feels in line with the way the tennis star had been cultivating her brand in the post-lockdown landscape that began in 2020. Next, growing interest in Evolve and its popularity. A roster of players curated by Osaka would be the latest in redefining the Gen Z elite athlete, and it's easy to imagine many a rising star looking to get under her wing. NBA star and vaccine skeptic Kyrie Irving was among the first to express support, tweeting directly to Osaka, who appears to be considering the application. When the Brooklyn Nets star asked Osaka on Twitter if there was room for hoopers at Evolve, she replied that there's always room. They both ended their tweets with an emoji of champagne glasses toasting. How it started and where it's headed, Dugwood and Osaka began discussing the venture at the Tokyo Olympics last year, with Dugwood saying in a recent interview that the firm will operate as a small boutique and bespoke agency. He explained that the agency is athlete-driven and focused on big-picture brand building, rather than quick checks with a commission attached. Naomi Osaka discussed her business venture in an exclusive interview with Sportico, stating that it was her natural next step as both an athlete and a businesswoman. She also stated that the establishment of her agency is part of a growing trend in which elite athletes are embracing their entrepreneurial spirit in order to maximize maximize their own financial potential, while also changing the landscape of the sports business industry. Following in the footsteps of Roger Federer, LeBron James, and other male athletes, the former world number one becomes the first elite sports woman to have primary control of her brand and business. Dougwood explained that when they were discussing the business model of some of Osaka's mentors like Kobe Bryant and LeBron James, the pair wondered why no transcendent female athlete had not yet done something similar. The tennis star's former agent also spoke about the core purpose of Evolve which was building Naomi's business from $50 million a year to $150 million a year, and it sounded more like an Osaka-centric wealth incubator than an agency focused on scouting and representing talent, at least at the outset. This is understandable, given that the majority of the athletes we previously mentioned have established their own shops in this manner. When Nadal and his agent Carlos Costa left IMG to form History Sports Management, they focused on expanding his own partnerships and business ventures, such as his eponymous Academy. Dougwood added that Evolve may take on another client or two down the line, but as of yet, he couldn't share much about the identities of the initial clients. All he revealed was that it would be only athletes who transcend their sports or those with the potential to do so. And now, Naomi Osaka, a name known and loved by many. Young, cool, and incredibly successful Naomi Osaka. The 24-year-old has accomplished a lot in her playing career. She lit the Olympic flame to start the Olympic tournament, and just in time for the start of the Olympic Games on July 16, 2021, it became clear how important the young tennis player is. Netflix released a documentary series depicting two years in Naomi Osaka's life and providing insight into her family environment and career. Only a few athletes have received this honor before her, but Osaka is rightfully among them. At the age of 20, she became the first Japanese woman to win a Grand Slam title when she won the US Open. She's also the first Asian woman to be ranked number one in the world of tennis. Despite her youth, she was the highest paid athlete in 2020, owing largely to ad and sponsorship revenue. She can campaigns against racism and discrimination, and has made her own political activism known on social media as well as on the tennis court, particularly during U.S. tournaments. She is the highest paid female athlete ever. But what Naomi Osaka has accomplished off the court may have surpassed what she's accomplished on it. Badenhausen stated that Osaka received more endorsement money than any other female athlete in the previous year. In terms of earnings, Naomi Osaka surpassed her role model Serena Williams for the first time in 2020. She earned 37.4 million dollars in 2020, just ahead of Serena Williams, who earned $36 million. That translates to $4 million in prize money and $32 million in advertising revenue. This makes both of them the only women in the top 100 highest-earning athletes, with Naomi Osaka earning the highest salary of the year despite being a younger star. Now for other athletes who launched their own agencies. Osaka's move isn't uncommon for athletes who have reached the top of their respective sports, the only difference being the fact that she's the first female athlete 
athlete to attempt to build an agency and take full control of her own business endeavors. Well-known names have left big agencies before to be on their own for decades. Jack Nicklaus left IMG in 1970 to launch Golden Bear. LeBron James started LRMR and entrusted close friend Rich Paul with his on-court contract for his marketing work in 2006, while Maverick Carter handled businesses off the court. The list continues with names like Roger Federer's Team 8 in 2013, golfer Rory McIlroy's firm, and Kevin Durant establishing 35 ventures in 2016. Tennis is an unforgiving sport. The longevity of Serena Williams, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, and Novak Djokovic is the exception rather than the rule, and launching her own sports agency is another way in which Osaka is guaranteeing she'll maintain a major platform whenever she hangs up the racket for good. Next, in other news, Aussie tennis stars heartbreaking revelation. Destiny Aeva, an Australian tennis player, has revealed that she attempted suicide last month, claiming she didn't want to live to see her 22nd birthday. Aeva wrote last week that the night of Easter Sunday, she was going to throw herself off a bridge onto the M1, but three people coincidentally drove by. Seeing the situation the tennis player was in, the trio dragged her off the rails and drove her home. Currently ranked 463rd in the WTA rankings, she broke the news to her Instagram followers and thanked them for their support and well wishes, explaining that she didn't want to make it to her 22nd birthday, but she realized that her family and friends would be happy to know that she's alive on a day that's meant to be special. The Aussie tennis player went on to say that sometimes people you come across in life can make you feel like you're unworthy of being loved, but at the end of the day, God is faithful, and he will not let you be tested beyond your strength, but with your testing, he'll also provide the way out so that you may be able to endure it. Tennis legend John McEnroe will be facing himself in AI-generated match. This week, legendary tennis player John McEnroe will undoubtedly face his most difficult opponent yet, himself. Michelob Ultra invited the four-time US Open champion to celebrate his joy and reflect on his professional achievements. McEnroe will compete against five different versions of himself. In 1979, he won his first Grand Slam title. In 1981, when he became the world's number one tennis star. In 1982, when he excelled as a tennis player. In 1984, arguably his best year ever. And in 1992, his final year on the ATP. The match will use artificial intelligence and technology to share McEnroe's personal journey to becoming one of the greatest tennis players of all time. McEnroe stated that several factors drew him to the project, including beer, Michelob Ultra, and the event's technological aspect. He was taken aback by the prospect of competing against himself. When asked who has the advantage going into the matches, McEnroe said it's safe to say the older versions of himself. McEnroe's decision to play an AI avatar opens the door to some other potential historic matchups in the future. The McEnroe vs. McEnroe match will be broadcast live on ESPN Plus beginning Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Patrick McEnroe, James Blake, and Ashley Brewer will appear on the broadcast. That's a wrap for this video. Naomi Osaka's new sports agency is already showing clear signs of promise, being as popular as it is among athletes. But will the tennis star and her ex-agent be able to achieve the goals they have in mind for this new venture? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.